welcome members and family of the 1981 Palatka High State Championship football team. We will be honoring them on this the 40th anniversary of their championship season. The Panthers 1981 season would begin with a true test. They were led by third year head coach Bob Lyle. The first game, the Panthers would face the defending 1980 state champions from Gainesville, the Purple Hurricanes. The game was touted in the papers as the showdown in Palatka. Gainesville would start the season ranked number one and the Panthers ranked in the top ten. The game lived up to its billing with the Panthers coming out victorious 28-21. All-American John L. Williams led the way, returning two punts for touchdowns. The 21 points allowed by the Panthers would be the most points the Panthers' defense would allow in a single game during the regular season. They would give up six points to Gainesville Eastside and not allow another opponent to score for the remainder of the season. There were eight shutouts in all during the 1981 regular season, which is still a school record today. At the end of the regular season, the Palatka Panthers were 10-0 in district champions for the second year in a row. As the Panthers entered the postseason play, they would play the Robert E. Lee Generals out of Jacksonville, coached by Corky Roberts. Lee had beaten the Panthers in the postseason 30-7 the year before, so they had Palatka's full attention. The game was played in Jacksonville, in Lee's backyard, where there was a tombstone of all the teams they had defeated that season. The Panthers went to war with the Generals, four hard-hitting quarters, beating the Generals 14-7. After this, the Panthers would travel to Tallahassee to take on the Tallahassee Leon Lions. The Lions were ranked in the top five of the country. Tallahassee, like Palatka, was loaded with talent. They were led by senior quarterback and All-American Tony Robinson. They averaged 40-plus points a game on offense. Palatka was averaging 35 points a game on offense. This game was going to be a shootout. At the end of the first half, Palatka was down 19-13, but came out fired up and owned the second half, scoring three touchdowns and holding the Lions to six, six points. Coming away with a win, 34-25. After beating Leon, the Panthers were in control of their destiny. In the third round, Palatka had the home field advantage and would face Gainesville Buholtz. The Panthers dominated the playoff game before a capacity crowd and won 41-6 and moved on to the state finals against Riviera Beach Suncoast. The Chargers came to the pit taking a victory lap before the game taunting the Panthers. This was not such a good idea. Suncoast would start off the championship game with the first possession. The first play from scrimmage would be a pass thrown to the All-American tight end, Richard Ryleford. He would make the catch, but would not remember it. Jarvis Williams delivered a vicious blow to the six-foot-five giant. Ryleford fumbled and Palatka would recover it and score on the next play from scrimmage. The first minute of the game set the tone for the rest of the game. The Panthers blistered the Chargers 42-2 and were crowned the 1981 Class 3A state champions, ranked number one in the state in all classifications and number nine in the country. There were a number of players on this championship team that would continue to play at the collegiate level. Two of them would go on to have careers in the NFL. John L. Williams, who started for the Seattle Seahawks for eight years and the Pittsburgh Steelers for two, playing in two Pro Bowls and one Super Bowl. Jarvis Williams started for the Miami Dolphins for six years and the New York Giants one year. This team epitomized family in the greatest sense. Tonight we celebrate your 1981 state champion Palatka Panthers. Help me welcome to the field Willie Hope, Mike Brown, Jimmy Griggs, John L. Williams, Tracy Burnett, Rick Rowan, Daryl Rasher, Brian Hill, Rick Mulberry, Billy Cruz, Mike Kimbrough, Terry Williams, Herman McRae, Jarvis Williams, Daryl Oliver, 
Lemon Nixon, Rock Ryan, Alan Preston, Alan Vizi, Preston Clark, Brett Daniels, Rick Glisson, Pat Daly, John Bailey, Dexter Brown, James Jones, Clifton Reynolds, Jim O'Neill, Jeff Trump, Keith Higginbotham, John Swilly, Greg Nix, James Sweat, Steve Robbins, Roger Hill, Zet Quinn, Sean Pinkston, Freddie Atkins, Brett St. Amon, Eddie Parcher, Chris Davis, Eugene Johnson, Joe Brinson, Malcolm Reed, Willie Tilton, Brian Kilgore, Gary Happy, Johnny Tilton, and Jason Driggers. Also, please welcome to the field their coaches, Willard Cooper, Tony Allred, Lee Parkinson, Barry Johnson, David McPherson, Johnny Butts, Rick Jones, Bob Jones, Wilson Edwards, Mike Roskowski, David Criswell, Jim McCool, and head coach Bob Lyle. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please welcome the mayor of the city of Palatka, Terrell Hill, and representatives of the city of Palatka. They are here to present a Hometown Hero Award to Robert Lyle posthumously. Also to proclaim today as the 1981 State Championship 40th Anniversary Day in the city of Palatka and Robert Lyle Day. T-shirts commemorating the 1981 State Championship Forever Anniversary are sponsored by Jeremy Alexander and MB Dodge Jeep. Panther fans, please welcome again your 1981 State Championship Palatka Panther football team.